Dutch Modeling, again back with a new inbox review. This time it's the Academy ROK Army main battle tank K1A1. Uh, pretty nice box art as you can see. I'm trying out a new camera position so it will be different than normally. Some uh, builds already done. I think it's better. As you can see, some body, some more finished ones, some yadi yadi yadi, and again, box art. So, nothing special. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what to expect. Now, well, let's start. Final tracks. Uh, very warped, as you can see, they're almost oval, so they need to be stretched out first, they're, oh, they're very bent, yeah, like that, you can see that, but that will be okay, I hope, wow, they need to stretch very badly. Uh, as for ejector marks, none, flash, none, so that's a good thing. Here one or two spots, injector marks, but that's all, so not bad. We got one, two, four, five sprues. The instructions, a small decal sheet, later. some tools you need to use or not, and some warning where not to put it. So uh, let's start with the spruce first. Heat shield bags, you gotta love them. Let's see where you are. There you are. Upper hole. First, no flesh, no burring. few tiny ejector marks. Let's see what this camera can do. But nice detail on the outside. I hope you can see this because I can't see very much. The light's blinding me so it's looking nice I think. Some more. It's picking up nicely. Good investment. Sides. Side arms already bolted on, glued on, uh, molded on. That was the word I'm looking for. Also nice details. <laughs> you probably can cut them loose if you want. There's some nice lines, so that shouldn't be too hard. Lower hole on the bottom, nothing, no details. Just look, sides low on detail, but no flesh, no burring on the outside, at least, no e ejector marks on the inside. <laughs> I don't know what happened on the inside. Just to kind of pick that up. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I can't see it because the angle of the cameras. Word. Let's 
see if this will fit. Oh, that fits nicely already. So, if you to see, yeah, that would be nice. Well, that's the upper and the lower hole. And I don't put them back in their bags. Next pro, we got some more side armor. The back plate. It comes with fig with a figure. One at least. Two. Look to Mia. No staples. Learn that. Nicely. Uh, maybe I can zoom in a bit. I don't have to go as high every time. Where are you, you zoom button? Ah. Uh, suspension. Okay, it's also part of suspension. I got two tankers here, so that's nice. They're on the, um, the, the, the box art, but I didn't know they were coming. One got a helmet on and one got a beret on. Not too bad on the detail. Let's see, I think I need my little blacky thingy. If you can see, I hope you can see. That one. Yeah, I got that backwards facing the butt. <laughs> the one with the helmet, <laughs> it's not very much, the face at least. You see? And the backside. But then that's pretty nicely molded, but yeah, with the helmet and you got a face cloth on, so yeah. We got the back side, back plate, you can see. Yeah, I think this is extra armor, but I don't know. Looks like it, but mm, rear lights here and there. So. Yeah, this is primarily the suspension. It's got some uh, I can't remember. Right I Yeah, those caps so the wheels are removable. I can yell them a hundred times if I'm doing a review. I can't remember them. Poly caps. Just get pissed at yourself and you remember. We got uh, a twin sprue here, or a mirror sprue. So I will take only one. Oh, I got a piece of uh, uh, yarn. Don't know what for that is, but and you see two of these. They're the same, so well, let's do one. The wheels, uh, inside, mm, no detail whatsoever. Uh, there's the camera, schoof, opletten. Outside, pretty much detail, although not too great. Yeah, and then some wheels, knives, yeah, wouldn't be knives. I'd look all the, the return rollers. And some thingies. The wheels. Ah, he's picking it up nicely, I see. Ah. Those things, those little more things, I don't know yet what those are. Maybe I can find out later. Those. Yeah. Again, no flesh. 
No bearing. I know Lee likes to use that word. No clue what it means, but hey, if he can use it, why well, can't? Uh, so if you know what bearing means, down in the comments, please. And oh, this is a big one. There are two in here. Take out the, the biggest first. The main turret. Okay, there's only one turret, so it's always the main. The turret here. Yeah. There is welding seams. Anti-slip. Uh, well, it's not too bad. Gun in two parts. That's bad. Whoa. Ooh. Closed. It's completely closed when you. Well, is there something going on here? Looks like it's completely closed from both sides, so you won't have an open gun unless you drill it open. It's the third. As you can see, no, not too bad. The gun can right on this side. You see, closed, and on that side, it's closed. So that's bad. Uh, gun mantlet, hatches, extra armor. I'm guessing this this will be the back side. The uh, turret baskets, stuff. Don't really know what this is. Looks also be a part of the gun, but I'm not sure. But again, no flash so far. No warping of the sprue, so that's nice. Let's prove with the idly fiddly bits. This somehow reminds me of the uh, Leopard Cone C did last. The A2, uh, Leopard 2 A6 birdcage armor. As you can see here, this, this, there. Here's a little bit more. So I don't know what that exactly is, but. Furthermore, we got some the machine gun. Oh, even the machine gun is in two parts. If you take the 50 cal, there is a, a saw. Looks like a saw. That's nicely detailed. You see, it's not too bad. There's the 50 cal in two pieces. No, that's bad. Got jerry cans, shovels, smoke dispensers. Looks like the, uh, the nozzle. No, it isn't. Looks like it though. No, it's something else. Could be, but it isn't. Yeah. So only a shovel. Hmm. Not very much tools on this one. They probably don't think it will ever break down. So those were the sprues. Not much. Looking at it will be a quick build. Sprue wise. The decals, decals. Oh, I got some clear film here. Uh, not sure for what I should use that, but we come. We see that as soon as we get the instructions. Back to the decals. 
Made by Academy themselves. Wow. Either there. Very nice decals. Deta decals. Or completely opposite. See if I can get the light on there. I can't see the the edge of the decal at all. So either they're very very nice, very uh, with a very the the edge around them is very close to the decal itself. I don't know how you call it, but or you have to cut them out completely. So. And they look good. I'm gonna look at this just a little bit closer. But it looks like they're just very on the edge. The instructions. Uh, let's see, did I have build an academy already? Not like this. We've got the front page, we got built, build it up, and we got even the built figures painted on. Before you begin, blah blah blah, don't stick it up your arse, don't swallow it, you know what it means. And of course, they start with the suspension. And the blah blah, and then the wheels because, and then I should rip this part out and in put it here. That would be better. But okay, suspension wheels. Oh, that's nice. I don't even have to drill a hole in this one. I just noticed. And when I'm done, I can just plug it up. Hi. There. You see? So, the back plate with the... Uh, yeah, fenders. Then the gun. Oh, there is something coming on top of the gun. I'm just gonna see if I can find this as soon because I missed it earlier. Like A41. Yeah, the gun is semi open, semi closed. The, the nozzle comes on on this side. Uh, the top of the, uh, the the gun nozzle gets on here, so it's about that far open. And then the third, third. Okay, that thing is some kind of a night viewer. What I thought was the nozzle. This one here. This comes on top of the turret. And then the gun under 50. Uh, <coughs> yeah, third box stash. Got a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Third baskets. Well, that's nice. Uh, more space spaced armor. Oh, this is a thread. It goes around twice. This is the uh, towing cable. I can zoom in a bit more. So. <laughs> see. You can see. And here goes the yeah, birdcage armor. I think you can call it that. It looks like a lot like that. So Attach first. Attach what first? It says the thing with the star. Attach first. I don't see a star. So, 
yeah, I will be going into that deeper. Uh, attach the gun to the turret. Color scheme for the figures. That should be if it would be nice if you had this in color. Wait, there you are. It would be nice in color because yeah, it is hard to see now. Uh, it goes to the inside of the upper hole. Okay. Now we go back to the upper hole. But oh, this is smart. This is smart. Now, at step 16, they start putting all the small stuff on top of the upper hole. That's what we normally would do at this stage. Uh, they thought about this one. And yeah, little fenders, stuff. And then. Almost the last stage, they attach the tracks. That's nice. And then the turret, and then it's painting. We got you know, only one scheme, so yeah. And then here's the sprue overview. Yeah, nice. I see my battery light is blinking, so I'm gonna round this off. Uh, looks like a good, uh, good kit. Should go together easy, uh, not too hard. Ah, there you are. Not a hard kit, except for maybe the yeah bird cage bit. But all in all, looks nice. Could be a very beautiful kit if you got if I can do it, pull it off. So yeah, no bad surprises on this one. So yeah, that's what I think of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have to quit because my battery is dying. Uh, this was uh, Dutch Modeling. Hope to see you next time. Bye.